What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the boot concept off the San Francisco 49ers and Shanahan's offense. Um, kind of talking about this is a kind of a, a series that we're going over the 49ers offense we're talking about and helping you understand how he works some things. I really want you guys to see um, how he calls plays, how he sets things up. Uh, Kyle Shanahan is, is, is games ahead of most of the guys he's pl calling plays against. Um, it's, it's a schematic scheme that's very simple, um, very user friendly. Um, if you go back and look from the previous, the previous ones, uh, number one, video one, we talk about the wide zone, how he sets pretty much everything up he does with the wide zone, the heavy flow action, the zone concepts, the double teams, the point of attack, um, which, allows, which allows him to, to dictate what the defense does, knowing he can control them, knowing which way he's going to push, which way, um, no, giving his opportunity for his running backs to hit the hole, put the foot in the ground and get vertical. Uh, the second part of the series, you go back and look at, which is real simple. We were talking about the concepts of the little wrinkles he puts in from the wide zone, the toss, the bluff, the pin. And so now we're going to talk about the next thing he does that most wide zone guys know. Uh, the next thing they put in, it's, it's a staple day one thing that you put in when you're installing wide zone. Uh, it's the boot. It's the naked boot off of the wide zone, the heavy flow. We're going to cross the flow. We're going to create a basic flood concept off of a naked boot if the backside defensive end comes crashing. So what you're going to see here is you're going to, you're going to notice that he's in a tight end wing set with, out of eye um, to the strong side up top. Remember, we talked about this numerous times before. <clears throat> he, loves running wide, he loves running wide zone weak. So as you can see right now, he's going to, look like, he's going to carry out the fact that like he's running wide zone weak quarterback's going to give a heavy hand he's going to get full extension of the arm and he's going to open himself up and he's going to boot back out notice the defensive end up top comes screaming up the field and that's what they want that's really truly the first thing that most coaches will notice i know that a lot of coaches will tell their quarterbacks when you snap your head around off the off the off the handoff onto your boot fake if that defensive end's not looking you in the eye then the next play needs to be boot. So as the quarterback opens himself up, snaps his head around the ball, he, see, he sees he sees the DN crashing down, and now all that's happened is he's created a small little flood concept. Now, if you take a look where if you take a look where the tight end came across, this is the tight end that went in motion earlier. And he's on the line of scrimmage. He is going to release two steps in an arc release, like he's blocking that outside linebacker. And then he's going to run what we call the crosser concept. He should run out of bounds at about 22 yards from the line of scrimmage. If done properly, he's going to keep climbing himself out of bounds. And then he's got to post to the back side. Now, it looked like he forsaken that he didn't have a flat concept here because most of the time they're going to have a flat. So usually this tight end right here is going to try to leak off to the flat. And it looks like he tried to. This guy's going to block for one 1,000, two 1,000. He's going to push himself off, and he's going to trail out to the edge. You can see he got stuck on the defensive end, which is okay, which actually cleared everything open for the quarterback. As the quarterback gets downhill right here, you can see all he's looking for. He's looking for the easy crosser. Again, this play was set up numerous plays before from the wide zone concept that they had run um, from earlier in the game when they had like a 25 and 30 yard run. So if you look at the end zone camera, this it's really a really good play. You can understand how the flow is going to happen. Watch the linebackers, number 59 and number 52 right here. What they're doing is they're going to read the running backs. They're reading the triangle. They're reading the triangle from guards to fullback. And as you can see, what's happening right here is what's happening right here is they're going to see flow. Watch them going to open themselves up. Watch the flow. One, two, three. Everything that you see as a linebacker, as a D lineman, as a safety is telling you that this is full flow for zone. So knowing that they're in charge of certain gaps, you know for a fact that this linebacker right here is in charge of the fill, of the fill gap right in this alley right here. And this linebacker is going to flow backside, and he has to pick up empty gap to empty gap, whichever one's responsible, for, whichever one loses gap responsibility. Now, as the quarterback boots himself out, the fake has happened. Now the strong safety had walked himself down, number 30, he walked himself down. He saw that he was going to get arc blocked. Saw the tight end release late, but he's in late presenting. He's in late coverage right here, and so they were in cover one. And man, this is an easy dump. This is an easy throw to the, from the quarterback to the tight end. Easy 30-yard gain, and that's how they make this. That's how they make their living. So now, same thing, same game. Okay, later on in the game, let's talk about here. Now again, now we're going to go back to a double tight formation with a tight end wing to one side. Now, all they're going to do, remember I told you before, he is a wide zone weak guy. He always runs it to the weak side, at least he predominantly likes to. It looks like the Bengals are in an under front here, which means they've got a, a one, a, a one, maybe a four or five, and a nine, and then they've got a, a three and a five up top. So, 
As you can see, one, two, three, four, he opens it up. Got a good ball fake. Notice the, notice the extension of the arm with our quarterback here. Garoppolo does a phenomenal job of hiding that, of giving the fake. And as you can see right here, it's still the same exact concept. He's going to boot himself out right here. You have Now you have different concepts. So really, truly, what you have to understand about the boot concept is that for the most part, you're going to have guys at different levels. You're going to have a guy here. You're going to have a guy here. You're going to have a guy back here. And more than likely, you're probably going to have a guy hanging out back here. How they get there, they change. But for the most part, the concept's still the same. It is a flood concept. The running back quarterback's going to snap his head around, and he's going to read one. He's going to read one to two to three. So all he's reading right here is he's going to sneak himself real quick. He's going to read one, two, three. As he releases, fullback pushes himself out. Okay, notice, notice, that, uh, notice the fullback pushes and drives himself down. He, pu he pushes that defensive end down, which clears the opening for the quarterback on the boot concept. The backside wing back is going to open himself up right here. So he's going to read flat. Okay, he's going to read flat. So he's got one, two, three. And those are his reads as he goes through. Tell your quarterback as he gets around the boot, take the easy pass, dump it off. That's a one yard, that's a five yard pass for a 10 yard game, and life is good. We move on. Again, let's go look at it from the end zone. I really want to show, I'm really trying to get you guys to hammer that. This is all set up with the base idea that he can run wide zone on these guys. So, what he's trying to do right here is he's really trying to dictate flow by the defense. You'll hear Alex Gibbs will say it, especially in his clinics, you know, I don't want anything to stop flow or counter flow. That's why they don't run counter, they don't run power. Now, Shanahan will run wide zone to death and then he'll jump into a gap scheme like a counter a power um, or a long trap to get to get a nice little setup but he doesn't live in it so notice that the, notice the full extension of the quarterback notice that there's a full flow from the offensive line and everything's flowing with it quarterback turns his head around this is a much better view so you can see the read progression one two three coming across the middle it's an easy dump off. It's a really easy concept, but the reality of it is, guys, the 49ers run this concept at least eight times a game or some form of it. So I always find it interesting when people talk about the, the 49ers and what they do. So now let's start talking about some different variations that he runs right here. So again, remember I told you before, he is a weak side guy. As you can see, this is a three-man front Pittsburgh Steelers early in the season. And what they're going to get right here, you're going to get a tight end wing set to the right. You're going to get a twins to the left. So for us, strong side usually means to the tight end wing side. And so he's going to run wide zone to the weak. He's going to open himself up. Now, realize that the boot concepts happened, but notice that nothing is coming out to the side. So what defenses do to stop this play is they'll start realizing that when we see boot, what they're going to do is they're going to start looking for crossers and they're going to start looking for flat. Watch how 23, all right, watch how 23 will drop to look for anything coming across the middle because, again, if the boot concept holds true, you're going to have one, two, and three. So what they're noticing, what these guys are doing is they're rotating themselves in from cover three into something good. This linebacker is going to take the flat. This corner is going to drop over the top of that crosser so he can rob that crosser. And this post route that's going to come behind it is going to get held by the free safety in the middle of the field. Now, what I find really interesting, what I find really, really intelligent about Shanahan is he sets this thing up, but what he does is he actually runs the exact same concept, but he runs it the other way. So the quarterback, what we call keeper, he runs boot and keeper, and he sets himself up, and they actually run the exact same concept going the other way. You have a guy here, you have a guy here, and you have a guy leaking right here. So again, it's the same concept. Now the quarterback's going across his body, but this was 100% purely designed because if you look and pay attention, notice that they think, that the, watch 34 take himself. He sees that the release by number two is going to get vertical right now, but notice he stays on the backside because he sees boot action. So he's going to hold himself right here, which opens the deep flood concept right here. Now, Again, this corner knows that he has to stay deep, and he's going to try to stay deep over the top of a post. Watch how he plays heavy inside with his butt to the sideline. He's not worried about it, and then coming back that way because he sees boot action. All he does is he runs boot keep, sets himself up, got himself the exact same progression read. Again, it's a flood concept. You got a guy here. You got a guy here. You got a guy here. Same concept, same read, same play. Just looks totally different to the defense. What he had done earlier in the game is he had run this play, as you can see. He runs this play a lot, and he ran this play a few times earlier in the game. And what it did was it set itself up for a really successful play because of the way the defense was going to over-rotate to the boot concept out of the backfield. Now let's watch it again. You can see the full handoff. 
Okay, notice that they even, they even give kind of a crappy fake because they really want to sell the boot. They don't want to sell the wide zone here. Notice the ball is hanging out wide. He wants everybody to see this so that everyone does over rotate. Linebacker is going to be chasing this guy because he thinks there's a crosser coming over the middle, but the reality of it is he's going to bang himself back outside. It's a beautiful play design by Kyle Shanahan. I really, really, I really appreciate the things that he does and the intricacies he does at his offense. Okay, so. Here's a preseason concept. Um, this is a preseason game. I think it was day game one. So remember we talked about how the boot concept off a wide zone is a day one install for the Shanahan offense. Realize that Shanahan and Kubiak and Gibbs, they all were together at one point in time uh, down with the Houston Texans. They spent a lot of time together. So Shanahan got his offense from those guys and he's just molded into something that is his own. So as you can see right here, Okay, again, this is preseason, so this isn't even Garoppolo. This is Jalen Hurd from Tennessee slash Baylor catching this ball right here. As you can see, remember I told you before, he wants to run wide zone to the week, but he runs wide zone strong this time to change it up. Notice the arm extension. Notice he does a really not as good of a job faking the ball right here. You can tell this is early in the year. Watch the fake. It's not nearly as good as it should have been. He boots himself up. Remember we talked about before, if the quarterback sees the defensive end is not honoring him on the boot action off a wide zone, he snaps his head around right now. If that guy's not looking at him, he tells the coach, we're running, we're going to run boot the next play. 92, okay, this guy right here is not honoring the quarterback at all, so he boots himself out. He's got a nice, clean, easy pocket. Again, remember his reads, one, two, okay, and he may even hit three over here. And there's your read to number two coming across the middle. Again, it's a flood concept. I got guys in every every zone of depth and width on the defense. Easy, easy pitch and catch, easy throw. This was, I believe, the first touchdown of the year for the San Francisco 49ers, even if it was inside of uh, preseason in game one. So again, take a look at it once you see it full motion. Notice that it's a really crappy handoff, but it's still the same idea. You see, the boot action is a really good way to nullify the fact that defensive linemen in the NFL can tee off, especially in third and long situations. So by running boot and running boot keep, what he's doing is he's simply moving the, the, the he's simply moving the launch point for the quarterback, creating more time for allow for these much deeper concepts and routes that allow for him to be able to get a deep concept and a deep shot off off of a play action, which moves the quarterback out of the pocket into a different launch point, which basically means this. Defenses cannot tee off on teams that can move the pocket like this. Notice the whole everything collapses itself. Look at this nice, clean area he has to throw right here. Easy ball across the middle of the field. He just throws the crossing pattern, and Hurd does a good job. So let's talk about this is a phenomenal play he ran against the Green Bay Packers. This was one of the first touchdowns of the game, and I really want you to see this because this is a phenomenally designed play. So go back to the concept before. This is double tight with a wing at the bottom. You have a single receiver up top who's going to just simply go in. He's going to motion like he's running jet. Okay, all he's going to do is he's going to try to hold the outside linebacker, and he's going to try to hold the strong safety on the jet concept. So again, wide zone to the weak because remember I have a tight end wing down here to the bottom. I have a tight end up top with a, with a single receiver. Again, concepts are still the same. He's going to run wide zone weak. You're going to have a guy here. You're going to have a guy here, and you're going to have a guy here. Also, you may have a guy here later on. But what he does, beautiful play design. You can tell his, he goes through, watch the boot action. Nice, good fake. He holds it, turns his head around. Again, look at your concept. You got a guy here. You got a guy coming across here. And then normally you have a guy that's going to clear it out right here. So, Again, what we're seeing right here is, is a simple cover three cover, simple three, cover three concept. They roll a safety down. The safety's going to stay high. So if they see boot, let me show you how they would play this. So if they see boot, what's going to happen real simply is this guy right here, number 20, is going to take the deep concept. He's going to stay outside leverage. He's going to pedal in his deep third zone. This, this middle safety is going to see the crosser, and he's going to stay until he sees the cross, and he's going to jump that cross. This corner right here is going to stay in this deep third in case there's a remember there's a there's a delay he has later on in the game that you'll see, and then the outside linebacker and is going to stay on top of the flat concept. So if you simply see how they're going to play this, it's a really easy way to understand how they're going to play this whole idea. Okay, so normal concepts off the boot flood. Garoppolo turns his head around. Remember his progressions would normally be one to two. 
Okay, this guy is normally just a clear out concept, but he did a really good job of setting this play up from previously. Notice that the safety is now, he knows the safety is gonna take the crosser. He knows because of the reduction set and the squeeze set. You know, people have asked me many times, why do these NFL teams and why do you guys run these squeeze sets and these reduced sets? It brings it by in the box. Yes, it does, but it also brings guys like like the safety who aren't used to playing in the box as much into the box, and it makes it makes you have better leverage. You know that this corner right here is going to play outside leverage of you. He's not going to play inside leverage of you if you're playing inside and tight. So what he does is he uses that to his advantage. <clears throat> he takes an inside release like he's going to try to clear this thing. Notice that what Kittle does is Kittle takes a nice inside release like he's running the wide zone to block it. He's making sure that this guy stays outside of him. He's going to push and try to clear this corner. Notice that this crosser is taken by the free safety. Now, as he sets himself up like he's running the deep, like he's going to run the deep corner concept, corner is going to speed turn, flip his hips to match. So again, you're going to have a guy here, a guy here, and a guy here. Now, remember we talked about before, by moving the pocket, changing the launch point, you're allowing the quarterback to have more time so that you can set up a double move concept. For example, a corner post by Kittle. And this is a wonderful play call, wide open concept. And this is how this whole idea works. So, here's how it works. All right, notice that, notice that the quarterback has this huge clean pocket. You have the post over the middle of the field because in cover three, the safety is now vacated because he's taking the crosser. The corner is going to play outside leverage because he's stuck playing outside because of the squeeze set and the inside release by the tight end. And you have a nice, easy, clean throw for a touchdown and a beautifully designed play by Kyle Shanahan off of his base concept. It starts with wide zone up front. Take a look. Watch this. As you see full flow, it's beautifully run. So beautifully run. Okay. And what you also notice is these safeties all see it. Notice the 31 sees the crosser right now. He's opening himself up for this right now. He knows the crosser is going to happen. They see boot action. He's going to try to play down on this thing. You get the flat taken by the outside linebacker. Such a beautiful play. Now realize you have a really good defensive line right here that's coming after the quarterback. He's got seven guys in the box. If he were to set up and, and just try to drop back and throw this ball, it would not be nearly as successful. Notice the clean pocket. He sets himself up. Watch the speed turn by the corner up top right here against Kittle. Kittle, one, two, three, snap your foot in the ground. And there he goes, he puts his foot down. He's already speed turned, he's expecting the corner concept. And you have a beautiful ball, beautiful delivery, and a beautiful play. I appreciate and value, again, what he does and how he handles this. And I think that a lot of people don't truly understand the beauty of what is Kyle Shanahan's offense. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for everything. I look forward to seeing you. If you like it, subscribe at the bottom. Hit the like button. Give me comments. Lay it down for me, guys. I appreciate you trying to make this better. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up.